don't know. I was thinking about building a forge so I can forge it home. Propane? No, nah, let's go old fashioned. Let's do coal. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, well, I'm going to start putting the grill. I just bought a generic grill from Walmart. We're going to put a grill together for our base for our forge. Uh, I'll just get it started and we'll speed it up as we go. On to the next segment. Okay, so for our forge, we're working with a budget just because uh, this is more of my first forge, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money to get it going. So basically what it is, I bought a cheap barbecue drill, and this is the cheapest one I could find, and I spent $20 on it. If you can find something cheaper that has a decent size, then uh, make a comment, but uh, this is about the cheapest we could go. So basically, we won't need this or this in it when we get going. But, uh, we're going to use this old brake drum in here to hold the coal. Uh, it'll help. It'll hold up to a lot more heat than this uh, thin stamped steel is, even though it is porcelain coated, which will help it with the heat. It's still going to need some more. Then we also got, we're going to use black pipe to help vent in our air at the bottom. And uh, we'll show how we're going to do all that. And then uh, I'm actually going to use my shop back and put it on blower mode so that way I don't have to have a dedicated device just to forge. So keeping it as economical as possible. This is. So we got about twenty dollars in the drill, and then we're gonna have about thirty dollars in the plumbing pieces, and then it, uh, shop back's pretty cheap. You can get one for about twenty dollars for a small one. So uh, we'll keep going and showing you what we're gonna do, and uh, keep watching. Okay, now for the second step, we're going to uh, start working on our flue that come that's gonna blow all our air into our forge. So. What it is, is basically I just got some black pipe. This is inch and a quarter, uh, varying sizes, so that way it fits the way I want it to. Um, uh, so first we're gonna start with bolting the flange to the bottom. But first, before we even bolt the flange, we're gonna have to drill the holes. We're gonna have to drill a hole so that way it'll allow air in, and then we're gonna have to drill the holes to mount this to the bottom of the drill. So we'll uh, start on that and uh, continue on and to do the rest. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm marking the center hole for where we're gonna we're going to drill for the flange that's going to bolt to the bottom. Uh, doesn't have to be real precise. I just want it to be centered because if not, it's going to drive me nuts. So uh, we've got a center line mark. Okay, right now we're going to work on, uh, it's going to be basically our fine air control is what it's going to be. So uh, I'm going to put a flap on the bottom side right here so that way you can swing it open and close and allow for your fine air control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in this and this, and we're going to screw these pieces together and, screw, and bolt this into here so that way we, uh, it'll stay up here and we'll have some fine air control on the bottom. So fire's up here. Fire's going to be on top. Fire's there. Air comes in around the side. So that's where air comes out. Uh, that's just uh, the air will come in, want to split up and down. Uh, most of the time you've got more air than you need, so you want to leave that open so air can pass by. But if you need a little more, you can close that up. Can film me? You are already being filmed, sir. Should have center punch. Guess who missed drilled the hole this time? Alright, so you could drill that hole correctly, or if you're Matt and just like to weld things, you mess it up on purpose. He burns my table. Don't break your head. Can I not have anything nice? Well, Let's shit. go to your house and break some shit. Alright, so he's gonna keep tinkering with this and get welded into place. We'll come back once he's done goofing around. Uh, 
Okay, so now that we welded this angle clip on here, and then we uh, I, I drilled a hole here and on this flat piece of plate. Now I bolted them together, so now we have basically we can shut this and open it as we want. Now keep in mind it's going to be down like this, so it'll be easy to move it closed and open as you need it. So since he's using my scrap stock, I didn't want to give him a ton, but someday he'll probably want to add a handle out here where he can get a hold of it a little easier, especially with so much leg space underneath the forge. Okay, well I'm going to center punch this mark. So that way we should start easy. And that's really cheap as you can tell I punched a hole through it just with a center punch. So it should cut through pretty quickly. Well, so since our bit didn't like our porcelain, we're just going to use an old-fashioned pair of tin snips since we, you know, it's, it's our old-fashioned project. The only thing that did was mark us a nice round hole for us to trim out. two holes and then I'll punch the other ones and drill them. Okay, now we're going to drill our holes for a flange. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this flange on. So we'll, uh, I'm going to drop all the holes to the top because I want low profile on the top side. So. Alright, he's going to get that tightened up and we'll come back for the next step. Very unimpressed by Matt's forge. So here's the uh, walk around of uh, Matt's new forge. We got a cheap $20 barbecue grill with the lid still. It rolls around great. Inside we set a uh, used brake drum that we we acquired um, free from uh, fixing somebody's Jeep. Down below we mounted that flange you saw earlier along with the T and uh, the air control valve we made and that's just hooked up to a shop vac at the moment on the back side to run the blower Get wide open Matt go ahead and kick it on see what happens and we have airflow so we're gonna get this fired up and uh, we'll bring it back to show you the working product all right, after a few minutes of fighting with the coal to get it started, we have a fire. Thanks for coming along with us on our version of Brake Drum Forge. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if you have any improvements you think we should make. Thanks.